Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Infected. Today, we are going to go to the town that's right next to us. I mean, we almost built inside of this town. We're going to go to this town. We're going to look for some tech. A lot of people said the first tech I should get should be whatever I got to get for the backpack, right? Um, so I guess I'm going to need the loom technology and... Oh, no. No, no. You guys said the butcher's table first. Yeah, the butcher's table. Because I'm going to need... Oh, I'm going to need the butcher's table to get... Uh, what do you call it? Hide from the animals. And remember our last episode, I said, oh, it's weird that you can butcher these animals. Yeah, you can butcher the animals at the butcher's table, but you get like one meat. It's kind of like a waste of time. Uh, so if you use the butcher's table, you'll get more meat, plus you'll get hide. And I'm going to need hide for a few things. Not only am I going to need hide. Hold on a sec. Yeah, there we go. Once, sorry, one second. Okay. Not only am I going to need hide uh, for the, you know, uh, for the backpack, the backpack upgrade, but I'm also going to need it for the quiver. You can't even use, I, I, if I remember correctly, you can't even use the quiver uh, or you can't use the bow if you don't have a quiver. You need the quiver for the arrows. Um, I think that's, I think that's the way it is. So yeah, um, I'm going to be making a work table. I'm going to be upgrading my spear and we are going to obviously spec into the butcher's table. Uh when it's time, when we get our first tech. Good call, guys. Thank you for pointing that out. Very important. Very important. There we go. So now we got the work table. And remember last episode, I was talking about the bone spear? I think that's what I'm looking for right now. So let's go ahead and put these planks away. There we go. And then we're going to need the bone spear. So what do we need? for? Well, we, need, we definitely need the bone. I know we have to turn the bone into bone shards. So I will turn. Hey, at least I got a bone off of one of those animals. Right? That, or did I get it from looting? Maybe I got it from looting. I don't remember. But I got a bone. And that's going to give us... Wait, how do we turn into bone shards? <laughs> I thought it was just the workbench. But I don't know. Maybe there's something else I'm not seeing. Workbench. Yeah, maybe it's because I put... Maybe because I put a couple bones in there. Maybe you got to put one bone. Uh, how do I split these? I don't remember. There we go. Alright. One. Wait, why isn't it... Why isn't it going in there? There we go. All right, and then you can make max bone shards. Now we've got six. And if you come in here and you go to the item you're trying to use, um, we just need sticks and plant fiber. You can make the item a lot easier. Oh, also, you know what? Damn it, I forgot about something else. We're going to have to make a weapon rack because you can't just put your weapons away. Um, I'm not going to have enough room uh, for the... Where did it go? There it is. I'm not going to have enough room... For the spear, if I, like, don't put weapons away. I'm going to need a place to put weapons, is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to come in here, placeable storage, weapon rack. Seriously? Oh, I don't like that. What? Wait, is there a way I could? I mean, I could throw my weapons on the ground, but, man, that sucks, dude. I don't know about putting a weapon rack behind tech. That is there a way to take weapons out of your... I don't think there's a way to do anything with your weapons. They either go in here or they're on the ground. Oof. Oof. I don't like that. Okay, well, I'm going to throw this on the ground. And uh, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. So, um, the spears take a lot of damage, too. So, it's not like this, this spear is even going to last that long. I was hoping to have two of them. All right, well, whatever. Um, I guess it is what it is. Let's go ahead and grab some sticks. One, two, three. And let's make the bone spear. It is a nicely up a, a nice, you know, upgrade spear. I don't know if you can repair it. I forget if you can repair stuff in this game. I don't think you can. There we go. So now we have the bone spear. I'm going to try and stay out of combat as much as possible, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I don't know how long my stuff will last on the ground, but maybe it'll last long enough. Maybe, maybe it never goes away. I think I remember throwing stuff on the ground. It takes a long time for it to go away, so maybe I won't lose that stuff. We'll see. Um, I did make a couple more chests. You can put chests on this cart, which is just phenomenal. And once you like put the chest on the cart, you like pull it instead of pushing it, which is really pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to go over this way. Let's go ahead and save the game. There you go. Save the game often. It is an early access survival game. Uh, I'm playing a beta branch, so... Could crash at any point, man. Save it save it often. This game does have auto-saves. I usually don't have them on, but... I don't know. Maybe I should rethink that strategy. Not sure. I also don't know if I can actually, like, zoom in on the map. I remember back in the day, you could... Back in the day, last time I recorded... You kind of zoom in on the map and really see where all the houses are, so you can kind of plan out where you're gonna loot. But I that might have been yeah. No, I don't. I can't see anything anymore because of the green dot. So I'm just gonna have to be careful. Uh, oh boy, enemies already. Son of a bee. 
Well, I'm gonna try my best to ignore, uh, avoid them, but um, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna work. Look at him; he's already out there. So looting could be pretty good. You can get some really key things in here. I'm gonna throw that out and the bark, the bark. Just gotta be careful. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna. We're gonna have to fight. Stab, stab. This guy is gonna get stabbed too. Okay, well at least they drop loot. Oh, pretty decent loot too. Oh, actually, that's really good loot right there. No doubt. All right, and yes, that's good. That's good. Actually, I should probably just eat that. I need fat. Fat is the problem. It's like the opposite of real life. <laughs> oh boy. Empty, empty, empty. There we go. Loot that. Beautiful. Oh, we gotta look out for the tech too, the tech pages. He said there's gonna be like one or two tech pages per town, the developer. So, we gotta keep an eye out for it. And if I miss tech, guys, do not hesitate to let me know. Especially here, I can just come back here in two seconds. Oh, I love that biofuel. Those are iron um, ore. You can smelt those up into iron ingots. I would suggest you not smelt those up in iron ingots, or it's, it's up to you. Um, the thing is, you're gonna need the, these iron ore to make steel later on. So I would probably start saving them unless you're just really desperate. Like you're just one iron away from that thing, you know? Oh, that's an egg. That's good with fats. And I don't think you can cook them. Oof, didn't even have a lot of fats in it. That egg should have a lot of fats, by the way. It's just saying. Just throwing that out there. All right, that's um, potato paste. That's good for um, protecting you against um, sunstroke. During the summer, the hot months, it's going to be, you know, that's going to be an issue. And... Okay, we're gonna have to come back and get that. Let's just drop this stuff off. That's why I that's why I brought the um the cart. So we just come out here and dump everything in the cart. I usually like to put big stuff in one box and everything else in the other box. Pretty good. Uh, I, I find that to be a good um a good you know way to store stuff. A good solution. A good solution to my storage you know anxiety, my storage issues. So, yep, we got that, we got that, and we got that. Okay. All right, time for the next building. Everything went good here, save the game. All right, so let's come on out here, let's grab this. And this looks like a, um, I don't know what this is. It's like a little, little store or something. Yeah, a little house, tiny house. Uh. Uh, keep it look at everything that's in the game. You might be able to loot it. Oh Yeah, that's what I'm talking about fats yeah, A little bit of fat Fat all right good fat. I'm gonna hold on to that. How long would that be before it goes wait? What? I didn't take it. How long would that be? Uh, it's got two hours. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on that I know I could eat it right now for fats. Um, that is for potato sprouts. You can farm in this game and There's my first tech page Okay, so butcher's table and let's see what we got here. Fridge, solar panels, loom, lights, oil extractor, chemistry station, advanced workbench, wind turbine, circular saw bench. I like the circular saw bench, but you you, you need oil to run it. And you would probably want to need a lot of oil to run it, but I don't think it's something. You need to spec into the brick forge? Oh my god. All right, so there. Oh, the drying rack, the weapon rack, the chest. The, oh, that might be something I want. Grinder, extraction. Okay, so if I do the butcher's table, okay, we're looking at the butcher's table for, we're looking at the butcher's table for this, the quiver. Holds arrows, can be crafted in the workbench. Okay, so once I get the butcher's table, I can make the quiver, and that's that. Um, crafted in the loom. So I would need the butcher's table and the loom to make the large backpack. Are arrows really that important? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the butcher's table for the first one. Okay, cool. And you can save up your tech points, which is nice. If you're like, you know, you're out and about and you don't really wanna 
do all the, you know, thinking that I just did. You know, time, you want to get going. Yeah. I, I think getting the bag, getting the upgraded bag is really important. You're going to have to kill crocodiles for the upgraded bag. That's right. I'm going to need the bow for the upgraded bag. I forgot about that because you got to shoot crocodiles. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Empty. Is that it for this house? There's no upstairs. I didn't miss anything. No, oh, whatever. If I missed anything, you know, like I said, let me know. Oh, there we go. I did. All right, cool. And big stuff. Rope. Yeah, rope is very easy to make. It's not something I need to be carrying around with me. And there we go. All right, cool. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Let's dance. Anybody else? I don't see anybody else. Now, hit points is going to be a problem. It's not easy to get hit points back in this game. So, as a matter of fact, um, I need to see what I need for healing items. Um, so, this is the way to get hit points back. These only do um, in cure infection. I don't think these give hit points back. So, we're going to need fish oil. So, we're going to need the fish. And we're going to need... Oh, you don't need aloe vera for the... Oh, okay. So, you need aloe vera for these. I bet you I can grow aloe vera. So, we need bandages, fish oil, and splints. Actually, that's not terrible. Well, we need bandages. So, you need the fish oil for the bandages. So, yeah, we will need bandage. We're going to start fishing. Like, pretty quickly. And, um, yeah. And get some aloe. Get some... We got a lot of stuff to do, guys. But that's the mark of a good survival game. Keeps you busy. Oh, darn it. That's going to go bad before I can do anything with it. Probably. Not overly concerned about it, to be honest, but... Right. Is that it for this town? Are these towns, like, super small or what? Um... Go, take that. And then we just throw this stuff in here. Yeah, that might be it for this town. Now I have to decide if I want to hit another town today. I kind of think I do. Or I could go home and do some, you know, stuff at home. I don't know. Let's keep looking. Hopefully I get a second tech here. Right. You smell of loot in these places. Okay, uh, search, search, splints are important, although I can always make them later, I don't think they cost that much. What does it take for a splint? It's going to matter if I want to bring these with me or not. Mm, they're pretty cheap, but I don't feel like, I don't like making them, so I'll hold them with me. But if they get in the way, I'll, I won't hesitate to drop them. Alright, you, tallow. That. Throw that on the ground. I don't know why. I just feel like it. Uh, take the feather. And throw these on the ground. You know, even if I go to... Well, I have time to go to another town. Did I miss any tech? Or was there only one tech in here? There could have been only one tech. I might have missed some. Or there might only be one tech. Alrighty, alright, uh, well, it's time to go home, and um, is there another town that's somewhat close? Yeah, you know, there's some towns that are pretty close. I could also go to the trader, by the way, I know where the trader is, but I don't think I have anything that they'll want, so I kind of feel like it would just be a waste of time, but, um, I don't know, I, I'll think about it. Okay, I'm an idiot. Bottom right hand side of the screen, the little salt shaker looking thing, it's a pillbox or something, it's like vitamins. I thought that was fats, I don't know why I thought it was fats, I just did. Um, so yeah, I'm a dope. I kept eating fats, trying to get my fats up, and I was like, why is it not going up? And I was like, oh wait, that's vitamins, Cage. Oh boy. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna go up. Is that the closest other? Well, this one's kind of close too. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit up that one. I like it because we can go through the desert and pick some aloe vera on the way there. I think going through the desert would be a, a fine thing. After all, it is the new thing. Save. All right. Go and let's go through here. It is kind of late. It's almost noon, but we're pretty close. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'd really like to find more tech. Um, I'm thinking the next tech will probably be the weapon rack, um, but the loom would be pretty good as well. Um, I really want to be able to like have my weapons. I don't want my weapons and stuff all over the floor, wondering if they're going to disappear. I, I really don't like that. 
So I'll probably go for the weapon rack next um next tech. And then the one after that will be the loom. I mean, I'm not really ready to kill, you know, alligators just yet. Um, I do need the bow. I need a lot of arrows. I, you know, I think I can make the bone arrows, although I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, but yeah, and then like when you go to when you go to kill the crocs, you want to make like a a forward operating base. You gotta you gotta have your um uh your butcher's table down there and stuff. So how do I get these? Wait, how do I pick the aloe vera? Um, am I missing something obvious here? Uh, I don't know. Do you need something to pick the other? Maybe I gotta chop it? Maybe I gotta chop it. Yep, you gotta chop it. Okay. Okay, here's the question. Uh, harvest by desert biomes. Can you plant aloe vera? I hope you can plant it, unless it grows back. Maybe it grows back. And it's a little concerning. Um, but I'm gonna keep going. And um, I'll come back and get more aloe vera, uh, aloe vera off camera. I just wanted you to see how I get it. Um, I did put in a, um, a message to the developer asking if the aloe vera grows back, can we plant it? You know, what's the deal? If I had to guess right now, I would say you can't plant it yet. And it probably grows back. Because I know trees grow back. So um, if it doesn't grow back and you can't plant it, I think that's a big problem. Because it's the only way for us to make healing items. And, um, <laughs> that could be an issue, but I don't know. We'll see. There is a good amount of it out here, but, you know, still, a finite resource always, uh, always makes me nervous. And here we are, town number two today. Let's see what we got here. See how, yeah, already, this thing's already a quarter down. The bone spear, uh, does not last forever. It's, um, pretty, pretty limited, but, man, it is actually way better <laughs> than the regular spear, so... As far as like, you know, it's damage, how much, uh, how long it'll last and all that good stuff. All right. Good. Good. Yep. So you gotta look around, man. Sometimes I think there's nothing to loot, but there is. And I know I say that and I will probably miss stuff, but <laughs> I will try my best not to. All right, more oil. Honestly, you can get like four things of oil, the circular saw will run for a long time. And the, the, you might think, well, Cage, a circular saw, what's so great about that? There's a few things that's great about it, um, but the number one thing that's great about it is it doubles the output of planks. Instead of getting two planks per, you get four. That alone makes it a godsend. But I, I want the weapon rack first. I want to be able to move my weapons around. But, man, that circular saw is high on the list. But it does run on the oil cans and, uh, you know... Again, finite resource. I can't, like, I can't get more oil cans right now, except for looting. Um, I think the loot respawns, too, every 10 days or something. I don't know, something like that. Did I loot everything in here? Did I miss any tech pages? I don't know. Not seeing any. Okay, what do we got over here? All right, garage. I will take a look at the garage. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away first. And then put some stuff away in here. Beautiful. And let's see what we got. All right, cool, cool. I, I believe people found tech on like the bumpers of cars before. So you gotta look everywhere. You don't know where it's gonna be. It's not just like, oh, maybe it'll be on this, um, you know, this bookcase and stuff. There's a lot of different places it could be. The one thing it can't be, at least as far as, I'm, as far as I know, is inside loot containers. Save. Uh, for you new people, there is a there is a vehicle in the game besides the ATV. It's a truck. Uh, I find it a little useless, to be honest. Because by the time you get the truck, you don't really have to go around anymore. Like, <laughs> in the game. Like, basically, your game will be looking around for stuff, looking around for stuff. You're just looking around. Trying to find stuff. Oh, look, you found a truck. That's cool. The truck is super expensive to fix. So you're like, all right, I'll get around to it when I get the resources. And you're, you're looking around for tech. You need the tech to make the resources for the truck. You've looted every town in the game. And then you fix the truck. And there's no reason to use a truck anymore. That's been my um, gameplay loop with the truck recently. So, yeah. I need to drop some stuff off. And we are back. And I'm pretty sure... I Nope, did not loot everything down here. Not by a damn sight. Okay. 
a few enemies outside, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, but that's what it is, man. You gotta, kind of, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. I'm getting a lot of bone, which is good. I can keep making bone spears. Which are obviously, you know, effective. Ooh, I like those small health kits. And is that it for in here? It looks like it's about it for in here. So let's come out here and put that stuff in there. Put that stuff in here. I missed one big item. That is plastic, by the way. Plastic is going to be very important moving forward. And let's see what we can do here. Hey, okay, loot his ass. All right. And yeah, there's a lot more. Play this is a much bigger town. A much bigger town. So hopefully there'll be two tech in here. Although, to be fair, I haven't found one yet. Okay. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now, what would we like to use next? Okay. Let's take a look. Gas, no. Greenhouse, no. Sink, no. Barn, no. Butcher's table, we already have. Yeah, I think, um... Wait, you need to tech for mineral extractors? Seriously? Dude. Dude, why does the developer hate us? <laughs> um, you know what? Let's just hold off. We can save it, right? I mean, I still have it. Yeah, we'll hold off. I'm probably going to use it on the weapon rack, but man... The mineral extractor is something I thought I'd be able to get going pretty soon. The mineral extractor is important, obviously. The mineral extractor, if you put it like in a in like a, a you know general area, it will get you like um, iron fragments and stuff like that. I think you could set it to get stone. If you do, I hear something. If you put it inside of a um uh, a cave, it can get stuff like cobalt, copper, stuff like that. If you put it in the desert, it can get you oil shale. You know, it just depends on where you put it. But, I, you know, I don't know. Um, I think I may just make a beeline for the... Uh, I don't know why I looted that. I may just make a beeline for the bag extension. I could probably do... All I need is the quiver, the bow, the butcher's table I already have. So, yeah, I mean, I could go. I could just go for that. Maybe I will. We'll see. That's what everyone wants me... That's what everyone in the comments said I should do. And I'm, you know, can't argue with logic, right? Well, you can try. I don't love that paste, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't find it overly useful. Usually, I, you know, I just go inside when it's super sunny. But is there no upper floor here? I don't see one. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to dump that in there. That in there, that in there. And we're going to go to the house behind. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, we got an arrow. Look at that. Take that, throw that on the ground. I don't know if you need to empty the loot containers, but because of like loot respawning, I I kind of want to empty the loot containers. But again, I don't know if you have to. All right, we're getting pretty full here. I might have to make some uh, decisions here. I don't think there could be more than two tech per town, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> Oh, oil. Beautiful. I love it when they drop good stuff, man. Now, here's the deal. When I fill up on items, do I want to just, like, leave? Or do I want to continue looking for tech and just ignore all the loot? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I'm going to have to make that decision somewhat soon, I think. Yeah. Search, search. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. What do I need? Um, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and take a drink. Drink is the one. Well, I guess you could do this for thirst. Sure, why not? They're just going to go bad anyway. I mean, I do need the food, but the food will go bad. There's a refrigerator in the game, but I am seriously far off from being able to get the refrigerator. You gotta get the refrigerator, you gotta get the power going, it's, you know, it's a whole thing. This will probably be the last building I do. And what I'm probably gonna do is, I'm gonna mark the buildings I've already been in, and then we're gonna come back. The thing is, if I go through and get all the tech, I'll never come back and get the loot. Because I know me. 
And the loot's important. At least in early game. Not so much later on when you can make a bunch of stuff, but... If you get enough loot of certain things that you can't make, you can kind of jump tech. Pretty, pretty, you know, nice. Like, maybe you can't make this... You're not supposed to make this table because you need another table to make the components you need to make that table. But because you jump tech, you might be able to make tables you, you weren't ready for, which will really speed up the, the whole thing. Okay. Where's my thing? I have done everything on this side of the street. There's just this building and that building and the garage. So I think I'll probably stick it out and just make some choices. I don't. There's a lot of stuff I could just leave behind. Not really that big of a deal, so... Um, yeah, I'll probably end up leaving stuff behind. Nothing important, though. Like, seriously, there's a lot of stuff I'm taking that is not really that big of a deal. Okay, search. Like that right there. Although I do have other clay, so... I could always stack it. Alright. That was pretty empty. No tech. Not seeing any. You and let's see what kind of room we have in here. The cool thing is, if you want, if you want, you could just click and like you shift right click to move stuff automatically, and you can just do it automatically. And if and if there's room for it, it'll go in there. And if there's not, it won't. So it's a really good way to do things. You don't have to kind of mess around, figure out what you're doing. Because there's some games if you try and move stuff in there and there's no room, it'll just fall on the floor, and I don't like that. All right. We'll take that. I, I like stone, but you know what? I can get stone at home. Take all that. Take that. Like, those electrical parts are really good. Really good. There'll be times where you're, like, trying to make something. And I'm not taking any more potato paste or splints. There'll be times where you're, like, trying to make something. You're like, hey, I just need a few more electrical parts. And if you did, you, know, you can't make them because you don't have the proper tech to make them. But, you know, if you could, man, it would really help a lot. And, you know, so... Search. All right, I think that's everything down here. Man, can I get two tech in this place? I might have missed some. I'm, you know, you guys got my back. I know you do. Don't need that, but I do want that. That's spoiled food, by the way. The thing that I took. Okay, and that's it for this building. I'm, like I said, I'm looking at all the tables. I'm not seeing any tech. So, there's a thing up back, right? I don't know if I hit that other garage either. I'll make sure I hit that one. But I think we're just about done here. Oh, I'm encumbered. Yeah, just throw that out. And I'm encumbered again. Awesome. Is there anything I would like to throw out? Not really. I want all this stuff. Can I eat something? I guess. <laughs> At least to get out there and drop stuff off. It's going to be close, but I think I'm going to be able to take everything I want. Search potatoes, search cans. That's good. And let's check this one out. I don't remember if I did this one or not. I did not. That's a bummer, though. Um, I mean, I got some good stuff, but I was hoping to get two tech out of this. Oh, come on. I want those bones, too. What's weighing me down? All right, this doesn't matter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat what I need to eat, do what I got to do. And then get back to base. Came home, and I've got four boxes. <laughs> Check this out. Box. 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 <laughs> i got a lot of organizing to do. Uh, now, normally what I would do right now is I would make extractors. I think I'm going to hold off on the extractors. I can go with extractors, but if I go with extractors, the bag upgrade is not going to be doable unless I get more tech. So, I am going to go... Let me just double check this. I just want to make sure. All right, I'm going to need the quiver to kill the alligators. Um, can be crafted in the workbench. Cool. Large backpack. Bigger back. Oh, no. See, I'm going to need a loom for that, too. So, I'm going to have to go with the loom, which means I'm not going to have a place to put my weapons. Okay. Um, that's what we're going to do. We're going for the bag upgrade. Maybe I might even do it next episode. I don't remember where the crocs are. Where the crocs are. I think the crocodiles are up here, but I need to I need to double check on the on on that to see if the crocodiles are up there. By the way, I did get an answer from the developer. Aloe does not does not it's not plantable. You can't plant it, but it does grow back every ten days like trees. So I just told the developer, I said it's not that bad because you know there is a lot of aloe vera out there. It shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem, honestly. 
But in the interest of having a more interactive survival game, I really think he needs to make it plantable and then nerf how much of it is out in the world. So you go out there and it's like kind of rare, not rare, but uncommon. You know, you might not find it all the time. When you do find it, now you can start growing it yourself. I think that'd be a much more fun way to do the game. That's the way we do everything else in the game. You know, um, I don't have anything on me, but things like, you know, pumpkin, everything else we find, like this right here, this stuff, you know, it's kind of rare. But when you do find it, you get some seeds and now you can start planting it. So I think that would be a much better way to go. And he probably will do that. Um, I assume he probably just, you know, this is a first iteration of what he's got going on okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the loom where is that so power loom technology wait what do i need to make the loom hold on let's make sure i can make the loom it might take something I, so you gotta you gotta be very careful gotta be very it's not in here it's in here placeables loom wood log iron ingot plant fiber and nails no problem i can do all that that's easy so yeah we're gonna go with the loom loom technology okay there we go so I'm thinking next episode, we might be going up to some alligators, people. Uh, I do have to get ready for winter, though, as well. Um, what is this? This is we're still in May, spring. Um, you've got to be ready for winter. When it's winter, you're going to have to have a place to go in to get out of the cold. There can be blizzards and everything. You're going to need like jackets and stuff like that. Uh, can I make the jacket? Please tell me I can make the jacket. Please tell me this isn't locked behind tech. All right, cool. I'm um, crafted at the work. OK, so I can make the jacket. No problem. So I don't think we're, we're doing that bad on winter. So I think we can, I think we can go up and get some out. Man, could, are we going to ex be expanding my bag on day, th on episode three? That's a crazy, that never happens. My bag's usually at like episode 10. I think I'm going to expand this tomorrow, uh, next episode. I, I reserve the right, change my mind, stuff comes up, it might not work out, we'll see. But by the way, the um, spear did disappear. So, oh no, it didn't, it's right there. All right, so nothing's disappeared yet. All right, cool. Anyway, I'm going to make a bow. I'm going to make a quiver. we got to make arrows. And then if everything goes as expected, we will go up and um, uh, get ready to kill some crocs. And one more thing before I go. I will also need to make the butcher's table, which I think is 10 iron. Um, food. Yeah, 10 iron. So I will probably just make the butcher's table up there and then bring it back home by hand, I guess. That's the only way to do it. you got to have the butcher's table up here. Just there's... There's no other way you can you can do it. So, okay. All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.